I mean, can you imagine? Oh my god, you guys, hi. Hey, that's random. Um, speaking of random, today is a random video, as you've probably seen in the thumbnail. So, there are things that I wanted to talk about in my videos. Hold, please. Hold, please. Don't want to get sued. Haha. <laughs> so, anyway, there are some things that I wanted to talk about. Or, yeah, talk about, show off, I guess. But I didn't want to spend a completely whole entire video talking about them. And or limitations on what I would have to say or what said opinions were. So, because of that, there are a lot of things. So, if you see me look off camera, it's because I've made like a bullet points list of things that I really wanted wanted to say and or get across. So, with that being said, everything in this video is super random. You'll super enjoy it or you won't. Like I said, you know who I am. My name is Kevin. Like, subscribe. I'm like out of breath. I'm like running around dancing. Um, anyway, like, subscribe, hate watch, please. So the first thing I want to talk about is, yes, I do carry a bag. I carry a bag daily. This is the bag that I carry. I'm not usually a like backpack person, but this is my everyday like work bag. Now, you're saying, Kevin, what's in it? Well, I'll get to that in just a moment. Let's calm down. So, two reasons I bring up the backpack. Um, a dairy, a, a dairy, a dairy friend, a friend of mine designed and designed the bag. Wow. <laughs> a friend of mine is the designer who made the bag, who also makes other stuff. Now, with that being said, the designer who made the bag, who is a friend, because I'm repeating, I'm doing a whole separate video on them completely. But I will say, and I'll link a description to that. I'll link, I will link, stroke, I will link this in the description. I don't know if he has any of these left, but it literally fits my whole entire life. There's my AirPod case from Coach. One of the best things about this bag, aside from the fact that it literally fits my entire life and everything I need, this liner. You guys, look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. I can't, I can't even. And you all know I'm gonna do a, a scent of the day, a clone of the day. It's in here, isn't it? Where's it at? I found it. So today's scent is Tisha. It's actually one of my favorite scents. It smells amazing. It actually smells kind of islandy, I think, or maybe that's just on me. So something else that I wanted to talk about that kind of goes along with the with the bag. I um I'm a total weirdo and I have a work bag that I keep all my things in for work, but I don't carry my work bag into work. If that makes sense. And also I have two different wallets like at all times. I have a wallet that I will carry into work with me and be at work with. It's just a, a vintage coach monogram wallet. It can get dirty, I don't care. Um, and then the wallet, my everyday wallet always matches my work bag. Does that make sense? I feel like that's totally, totally weird. Um, but my current, like everyday wallet that I'm currently using actually matches my work bag that I keep in my vehicle at work. Anyway, so um, something else that I want to talk to you guys about is I don't wear a lot of makeup, believe it or not. I really only wear eyeliner and I just found something like a month or so ago that's been revolutionary in how I store my eyeliner because I have three to five that I can always depend on that are always amazing. But I like to try out other stuff too, just because you never know what's out there. There are a lot of companies making eyeliner and I love to wear it. So I, you know, I like to wear different stuff every now and again. So I found this product and it's literally just like 
a pencil case that you would put your art pencils in, but I use it for all my eyeliners. It's like, it's literally changed like how I store stuff. Now I have, and it's just, there's so many. I, th I think this holds like 72 like pencils, but in the back this is where I keep some of my um, sharpeners. And also in the front here, it's got room for sharpeners. It's literally one of my favorite things that I have found like hacks, I guess, if you will. Now, oh, always, I just drank a lot of coffee. Like, so I'm like wired and ready to go. So I'm sorry if I seem erratic and all over the place today. I'm just like feeling good. I haven't made a video in a while. So I'm like here ready to do this today. So um, yeah, that was just like a hack that I, I found a while back and it's, you know, I love it. And yes, I have a ton of makeup bags, but I don't actually use said makeup bags for makeup. It's very strange unless I'm like traveling or something. So a couple other things that I wanted to get to is I've seen a lot of YouTubers and Lux YouTubers talk about um, the, the status symbol of a Birkin bag. And I thought I would weigh in on it even though nobody asked me. So yes, on one hand, a Birkin bag is a status symbol, but because Hermes does not label their bags, like because their name's not on them really, and because a Birkin bag doesn't say it's a Birkin bag, the joke is kind of lost, I feel like. Because if nobody knows that's what it is, it doesn't matter that you spent 30 grand on it because unless other people around you know what luxury design bags are, then they're not gonna know. But also, if you have one of those bags, good for you. I'm not like, you know, shitting on your style or anything. Um, also, what else? Oh, unfortunately, I do have a little bit of bad news. Starting in March, I'm doing like no money March. I'm not gonna make any purchases, purchases for the next couple months because I've got some big stuff in the works and I don't wanna spoil that or put myself behind and i know you're probably thinking you just started a youtube channel and you're not going to make any pur purchases we're not getting unboxes you will i've got some coming up but i've just got some stuff that i'm really excited about presenting and i can't do that for a few more months so everything is kind of really really hush hush so that's the why behind the what there but i've got plenty of ideas I've got plenty of video ideas. I'm going to be doing a lot of filming in the next like week or two. So I will be putting out gag worthy content. Something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, well, I, um, I can't reach it right now, but if you like to read and if you shop from LV, I would highly recommend the the LV book that just came out. It's in the other room or else I would like show it to you, but I'll, I'll put a picture up. Um, it, it goes in more detail about Louis's life as a kid. And you know, it obviously spoiler alert, you kind of know what happens. This huge empire came out of a kind of a crappy childhood he had. But if you like to read and you're interested in like backstories on designers, then it's, I definitely recommend it. Um, also, I would like to talk about how luxury isn't just handbags and like these really expensive things that we like. Luxury is also in other markets, such as toys. I am a huge, avid like toy person. I'm a toy collector and there is a company called Sideshow and they make luxury toys. I don't know if I want to do like a video on that because I don't know if anybody would be interested in it but I'm at least probably going to do like one or two of those unboxings here just to see what kind of feedback I get anyway so I think that's about all today I'm so glad that you stopped by 
I'm so glad that I got to make this really silly video for you. Oh, and I'm, I'm wearing my black Versace Medusa studs that would have been on my top nine things that I bought for 2021. But uh, at this point, it's like March and nobody wants to see that now because like we said, it's March. But um, I'll put a picture up anyway to show you guys. They're not in stock. They took me forever to get them. But um, yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys as always. I will see you in the next one. Like, hate, watch, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification. All those things help me out a lot. Thank you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to love yourself. Peace.